Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Joni, appreciate you being here. Today's video is a little bit different than what I normally have been posting. And I thought I would share with you things that I picked up from Trader Joe's recently. My Trader Joe's is about 45 minutes away from where I am. So when I go down there, I generally pick up bulk type staple items that I like to have. Picked up a few things that I generally don't pick up. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the products and the you know most popular items, which maybe I just have a few of those, but um, mainly like spices. Anyway, let's get started. Let's just get into this. I guess we'll start with the spices. I saw this recently. It was a black garlic and it does say that it it's a subtly sweet and caramel caramelized like flavor full of unami which is also i think i shared this in one of my videos which is a mushroom type flavor although you don't really taste the mushroom in here but it does give a nice little kick it's like some pepper flakes in there and it does offer a nice kick to you know your vegetables i add most of the time to spinach but this black garlic caught my attention. I do like garlic, so I said, well, let me give it a try. It does say, use like garlic, delicious on avocado toast, in butter and sauces, on vegetables and proteins, or anytime you want an extra depth of flavor. So I did try it already. I didn't put it on my spinach, and I think I even sprinkled some on a pasta dish that I um, recently made. I did enjoy it and I'll continue to use it because I, I, like I said, I did like the flavor of it. The next, I think I also may have spoke about this, is the chili, chili lime seasoning blend, which it says that Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning is the classic sprinkle for fresh jicama, mango, and pineapple and is delicious to enhance grilled meats. I only eat chicken, turkey, and fish. So I will add it to my shrimp. I'll throw it on some salmon. I don't know if I've tried it on chicken, but I would be inclined to do that as well. So I really do like it. It has a nice chili lime flavor, which, you know, if you want a little kind of a Mexican flair, I, I do enjoy that. I did pick up a container of sauerkraut which has some Persian cucumbers in there. I don't eat a lot of it generally because it's too hard for my body to digest, but a little bit here and there being that it's fermented, it's really good for gut health and digestion, it has the probiotic in there. So I did try it, it was really good, it had a nice flavor to it, sauerkraut-ish, but it does have that Persian cucumbers in there, which added a nice little flavor. So I did enjoy that. Next, I picked up some zucchini noodles layer there i'll saute these in some garlic and oil and i'll add some shrimp on top of it some grilled shrimp and make a meal out of it it's really very good next thing here is something that i don't generally go for and i'm not a big sausage eater they did have chicken sausage maybe that's better this one is a spicy jalapeno. And what caught my attention for this was all chicken sausages that I've managed to find in this store are all wrapped in a pork casing, which as I just stated earlier, I don't eat red meat. So even though pork is the other white meat, but um, I don't eat the meat. So I always thought it was interesting that the chicken sausage was wrapped in a pork casing because from my perspective i'm thinking well if people are going with the chicken sausage maybe they want a little bit of a healthier sausage but maybe there are people that don't eat meat and so for them to wrap it in pork i just thought it it just never made sense to me so this one is it says it's pork free it's gluten free and actually there's no sausage casing and again, not that I eat it oh so often, but I thought maybe I can just pan fry it, throw it in my air fryer even, and maybe put it over even the zucchini noodles or, you know, cauliflower rice. Or my next dish, which may be, you know, my next thing that I'll show you is the most popular cauliflower gnocchi, which you can use as typical pasta. You know, you could do it that way. You can just pan fry it, put your 
you know, favorite sauce on top and have some type of protein with it, it's really good. So I thought maybe I can pair the two of those together, the sausage and the cauliflower gnocchi and maybe some spinach on the side and have that as another meal. Next, I picked up two cans of this skipjack tuna. Interestingly enough, I grew up eating bumblebees, salad white, albacore tuna my whole life. That's the tuna that was always in the house. As I got older and I was eating it, I noticed that I just never felt well. I don't eat mayo, but when I would just mix it like with some avocado, I just never felt well. And for some reason, I don't know, I looked at the ingredients in the bumblebee and I noticed that they added soy to the can of tuna. And I thought, geez, isn't that interesting? Why are they adding soy to tuna? Why can't it just be plain tuna and maybe some salt in water, obviously? So I had stopped eating that and then I had, I've seen a few people, a couple of different YouTubers that I watch say that skipjack is a really good tuna. And when you look at the ingredients in this, it is chunk light tuna, water, and salt. Perfect, that's exactly what I want, right? Don't you just wanna eat tuna without the soy? At least I do, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. So I did pick up a couple of cans of these and like I said, I'll mix it with some avocado. And just recently I added some hard boiled eggs to it. For some reason eggs, I have a love-hate relationship with them. Sometimes I can eat them, sometimes I can't. But I did have the hard-boiled eggs in there and it did actually work. So I was really happy about that just to get some added protein. So that was a win for me. Next is Trader Joe's, and this is a new item from what I understand. They now have salted butter from New Zealand made with milk from grass-fed cows. And I am a Kerrygold user, that's the butter that I use. And so when I saw this, I thought, geez, isn't that such a really good item for them to start carrying? I haven't tried it yet. I'm sure it'll be just as tasty as the Kerrygold. Um, I'm excited to try this and maybe I'll be able to give you an update at some point on how it tastes. Let's see what else we have here. Next, of course, I had to pick up some Let's see if you can see there. I just picked up some pepita salsa just because who doesn't like some chips and salsa, right? So in this one, it's a bright and balanced salsa with tomatoes, chopped pepitas, and spices. Pairs well with just about anything from tacos to grain bowls. So I thought it was interesting. It has some pretty good ingredients in there. So, you know, I'm excited to try that. The next item is some honey, which I am a big lover of honey. I'd like to usually get it locally. I'll usually get the local honey from the vendor at the farmer's market and clearly he's not there right now because we're buried in snow. So anyway, I just picked this up. It was just a local pure raw honey. I needed it so I picked that up. Next I picked up some Trader Joe's organic pitted Kalamata olives. I'll put I just love olives. I think it's the salt that I really like. And you'll see a theme as we go along. But it's um, in brine with extra virgin olive oil. So I said, okay. I, I just needed some, so I picked those up as well. I'll throw it in just about anything. Next, we have some gluten-free crisp bread. And these are... You see the sunflower seeds, oat, sesame, and flax combined in a crispy, crunchy, gluten-free crisp for maximum cracker satisfaction. So I am gluten-free. I don't know if I've mentioned that before. I thought that this could be a nice way to just maybe put some avocado on there, some seasonings, and just have a nice little crunchy snack for myself. So I'm excited to try these. I've heard really good things, so I'm gonna see how they taste. It almost kind of reminds me, even though these are in more of a rectangle, but it's almost like the Mary's Gone Crackers, which I love, kind of the same ingredients. 
So I'll let you know how that is. What else do we have here? I picked up some teeny tiny avocados. I'm sure a lot of you know about those. They're just the right size, especially for one person. They always go. I never throw any of those away, but the big ones sometimes go bad by the time I finish them. So I really like those. The next thing I picked up are these steamed lentils. And years ago, before I got, before I was diagnosed with gastroparesis, which is basically, you know, your stomach is paralyzed and it doesn't digest fiber well. Um, so I used to eat these all the time. I would throw some on my salads. I would make lentil soup out of these. They're delicious. And I was feeling pretty daring the day that I went and I thought, well, maybe I could just, you know, test it out and see how I do. I'll, um, I need to be really careful with it, but they're so yummy, they're so tasty, and you can eat them warm, you can eat them cold, it's just really good. It's just um, lentil salt and essential oils, cloves, laurel, thyme, pepper, and garlic. Although, I am now reading it contains traces of wheat. So, hmm, that could be a fail, and I'm not sure that I'll be trying this now. And maybe that's why I didn't, they didn't agree with me way back when. But, um, okay, well that's disheartening. I don't know why I didn't notice that before. But, on to some other things. I picked up two Sumo oranges. Again, have a hard time digesting raw fruits and vegetables. But I thought maybe if I can take the, you know, just peel the skin off of, not this skin, but the internal skin, and maybe just have some pieces of it, maybe I'll be able to digest that. We'll see how it goes. But I really do love the Sumo oranges. They're really flavorful, and I guess it gets its name from this, like, not on top. You're not, I think now is the season, but I don't know if every grocery store carries it. But if they do, you should try it because they are really tasty. Next, I have some grainless cassava and coconut tortilla chips. And maybe I can pair these with my, where is it? My salsa. But clearly, who doesn't like tortilla chips? And these are grainless, made with cassava and coconut. Happy to report there's no wheat in this. So, yay for me. Here, I have some rolled oats that are gluten-free, it's their brand. I will make granola out of the rolled oats and I'll make some oatmeal protein balls and have those as a snack, really, really good. And the granola is um, really tasty the way I make it, if I do say so myself. And then I bought some gluten-free flour because I've been on a bread making journey and it's always good to have flour for other baking needs so I picked up some of that. I picked up some more of these kettle cooked uh, made with olive oil potato chips and what I love about these are these ingredients are strictly potatoes, olive oil, and sea salt and that's it. If you look at any potato chip bag in your grocery store you won't find that there are so many ingredients in there that are just completely unnecessary. So whenever I go to Trader Joe's, even if I have some in the house already, I'll add these to my bag because, or to my cart, because they're just so clean and I do tend to crave salt. So those are perfect for me. At least I know they're clean and they're just potatoes, oil, and salt. Really, really good. And the last thing I picked up were some medjool dates. I really enjoy dates. I'll have like one or two at night when the summer is here, because that's generally when I'll do smoothies, not during the winter typically. I'll add a date to my smoothies. And sometimes I'll just like slice them open, add some nut butter, whether it's peanut butter or almond butter, and I will add those in the center and sometimes I put them in the freezer and they are so, so good. Such a great snack. So that's all I picked up. I hope you enjoyed this change of content. Let me know in the comments below 
if you'd like to see more of these types of videos, I'm just trying to switch it up and, and kind of capture a wider audience and different interests and such. So leave a comment below. Let me know if you've tried any of these and what your thoughts are and if you enjoyed shopping at Trader Joe's. And please also comment down below what other videos that you'd like to see here on my channel. That would really help just giving me an idea of what you really want to see. And I want to give you guys what you want. So help me out here. Anyway, until my next video, which I upload every Sunday. So please be on the lookout. Look for your notifications in your box and see you then. Bye-bye.